I am Henry Paler, and I have the, the honor of serving as a spokesman on behalf of friends and family and community buried here today. You will see my name on this small marker, a larger obelisk of markers than others of the kins around here as well. Yes, parents, wives, children, and many community members lay about this sacred grove and meadow called Brown Cemetery. We are proud, honored, and happy to see the National Soldiers in the Grand Lodge of Minnesota uh, represented here today at this event. My dad and several other Paler kin were made Minnesota Master Masons right here at Henderson Lodge number 80. I was initiated, passed, and raised early in 1882 and enjoyed 30 active years in masonry prior to the end of my brief soldiering in time. But let me hasten on to tell you about why we came to be present here today in Brown Cemetery. I was the first of our immediate family to come to America. At the age of 15, I took passage on a sailing ship, landed at New Orleans, came up the Mississippi, and resided with an uncle for a short time in Iowa before hearing about opportunities in the territory of Minnesota. When then I hopped on a riverboat and landed near what was once called Pig's Eye, later named St. Paul. And that is where I met Joe Brown, who hired me in 1854, and it had a great influence on my family and lives of those making up a community in early Minnesota Territory days. Other Paler member, family members came to America in 1856, and so soon we put our big brick store in Henderson on the corner of Maine, which still stands today. I had planned to join the Civil War, but family circumstances made me stay closer to home, where we tried to be of service for families left behind by participating in community life with some Masonic charity, where and whenever we could. I had married my wife, Elizabeth Frankenfeld, in 1861. She had come to Henderson to look after her brothers Jacob and Jonas, where we met, first met. Together we built a nice brick house, still standing in the Henderson residential area. The house, which now serves the Sibley County's Historical Society Museum, was built by my brother, August P Paler. Hopefully, he'll give you a visit. The grain business led me to move, met our move to Minneapolis in 1889, and eventually my wife and I retired in California. But we came back every year to Henderson. Henderson was still our home. On such a trip in 1812, while at my sister's Mat Mat Mahilda's house, McCormick's house, the same came for my, uh, the time came for my heart to give out, and my body died. We always liked Henderson, so you can see that it was good to be here when the time came. Wives, friends, family brought me here to lie with my family and community friends in, in Brown Cemetery. Alexander Clavendon of Minneapolis conducted during the Masonic burial service, representing H Henderson Masonic Lodge number 80 and a male quartet from Minneapolis 19 rendered vocal selections during the ceremonies. Many master masons were present. The funeral was very impressive. The sites you now visit are all Civil War era Freemasons. Please take this short tributary trek to hear more about the friends and families who laid the foundations of town, county, state, and community, which many still call home today. My friends and family met that wild Irishman, Thomas Welsh, and his family just over yonder. Together we started the Pacific Grain Company, a series of grain elevators along the line of the Minneapolis and St. Louis Railroad in Arlington, Gaylord, Green Isle, Winthrop, all in Sibley County, and in Fairfax, Franklin, and Morton in Renville. But that story <laughs> is, is, is for another time. The heritage left for posterity lies embedded in this beautiful community of Henderson this day. Thanks for attending Heritage Days. We're much appreciated to be here. Thank you. Thank you.